Welcome back to Don't Feed Sean, guys. Today we're going to get some nudes, some pizza, some agua fresca, and if you like it fresh, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. First up is 1803 Pizza, tucked away in between Winter Park and downtown Orlando area in the Auburn Park area is this little pizzeria, Italian pastas, subs, all sorts of things. They are serving up fresh ingredients all the time. Fresh baked pizzas, fresh baked goods, and it is fantastic. Perfect little date night spot. Definitely gonna give you guys a heads up on this one because uh, it's, it's a good one. They do a bunch of vegan pizzas too, which is pretty cool. Next up is Kai Asian Street Fair. This place is very popular for their wings, but today we decided that we were gonna stop by for some of their dry udon noodles. And they're not dry dry, they're just not in soup. I went there with Chantel and Faye, who keep it about as weird as they normally keep it. But we got some of the katsu chicken, the seafood, and a lamb curry variety of the noodles. All of these are sauce based, like heavy sauce based. And the udon noodles are fantastic. I mean, they're very well known for their ramen. And these were all delicious, but my favorite thing there is always gonna be their bulgogi fries. These bulgogi fries are my favorite in town right now. So if you ever get up there, make sure to check out their wings and that. Finally, we stopped over in Winter Garden in the Koei area to check out Frutamix. I've seen this place. I've seen this place for months and I failed because I haven't gone there. This is a fantastic hole in the wall. All of their stuff is made fresh, fresh. They've been making the queso birria tacos there for almost a year now before anyone else in Orlando started making them to my knowledge. So they make them a little different from everyone else. So instead of drowning it in consomme on the grill, they add a little bit to it after the initial grilling so they maintain kind of a crispiness. So how do you dip? Are you a dainty dipper? Are you a deep dipper? Or are you an absolute savage? I myself like to keep it pretty savage. Drowning that thing in that consomme. That stuff is so good, it's definitely one of my weaknesses. Make sure to let me know how you dip it in the comments below. But I have to tell you guys, birria is not a victimless crime. Now, on to some of the other stuff. They do Mexican street corn, otherwise known as elote, where they take the corn, they put it in the crema, they get some of the cheese and some of the tahini, the spices on there. If you've never had this, I suggest it. They also do a bunch of fresh fruits. They do these fresh fruits and spicy sauces. They do big mango nadas. They do all sorts of Mexican style fruit cups combining both spice and fresh fruit. Uh, all they do in the back is cut fresh fruit. So when I say it's fresh, I mean they're constantly cranking out fresh cuts of fruit. So none of this stuff is frozen, which is phenomenal. And it's something you can really tell in the taste. All of these creations are just so refreshing and colorful and just this phenomenal mixture of fresh fruit flavors that blow me away. And they have all of these hot dishes as well. So it's a great place to go to pick up lunch as well as a fresh snack. I like these mango natas that you're seeing. If you've never had one of those, you get a little bit of the mango, a little bit of the spice, and of course, the hand covered straws, which is pretty cool. Makes for a great picture anyway. They also do the Dori Locos. Now, the Dori Locos came in a variety of different chips. Mine, I got Takis, and they put the crema, some spicy hot sauce on there. They dump uh, salsa, lettuce, Japanese peanuts in there and top it off with lime with uh, some pork fat in there too. Really rich. And the other thing they're very well known for is their agua frescas, which are just all the fresh um, fruit waters. And they are rich in variety. Every single one of these is a winner in my book. But Ramon and I, Ramon from Asico Memos Aquí, got to try 
one of their agua frescas with the tahini in it. So we got the spice in the drink, which is really actually pretty good. It's kind of like a spicy mark. But then we got a couple peppers and uh, I'm not going to tell you what's going on here. If you guys want to see what Ramon had to say and understand this upcoming reaction, you're going to have to go over to his YouTube page and check him out on his social medias as well so you can see why he reacted like this. We are going to finish up with just a little bit of a POV and that is it for today guys if you like what you're seeing please like subscribe let me know what you like in the comments let me know if you try any of these places and what you'd like to see more of have a good one and i'll see you next time